Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video with me, Silence here. Here, as you can tell, it's a whole new year, it's a new hairstyle. If you guys haven't seen me in ages, uh, then probably this is the first time you've seen me with short hair. Uh, so, yeah, this time around, we're unboxing the stuff that I got for December 2019. Yes, it is January. Uh, 2020 which it makes sense why I'm opening December's boxes because well December all last all the way up to the 31st of December which crosses over into the new year so if any packages came um, close to the end of December you know why I only could open up the boxes in January and what therefore you are now able to see the unboxing in uh, January's upload so that's why so it makes sense so with this video I have finally caught up with all my unboxing videos that I have released for my channel hopefully you guys um, have been enjoying all my unboxing videos and see what I actually got for myself during each of the months and finally we are on track so yes unboxing videos are now a monthly thing um, so basically just um, you know, be patient and look out for what I actually got for myself for each month and of course maybe you might be interested in yourself to get those items or maybe pick up some of the series that they, the items belong to because they might intrigue you in some way and yeah so let's let's get down with the first of the boxes that luckily enough December isn't that many unlike uh, November, November was a horrible mountain of items <laughs> so okay so this time around um this one came from cd japan it's a very long box now um i actually intended to do this unboxing video with a pretty close friend of mine who is staying in singapore um but sally to say she's not free and she she's camera shy so yes you know who you are <laughs> uh so yes yeah, so i was planning to do this with her because she's also a very big fan of this series so this month's this month's se unboxing video kind of, kind of is a tribute to that series so let's find out what that series is uh let me just cut this open and pull out the contents so here we go all right gonna remove all the nice wonderful stuffing that they include in any kind of packaging all right here we go so i'm gonna to toss the packaging aside so first thing first we have a very nice long tube usually when cd japan gives you this kind of thing you know it comes with a poster so there's a poster inside i probably might put a, a image of a poster somewhere here on the screen <laughs> so you guys can see it um for the meantime i'm gonna leave it inside there all right uh, tossing it at the back okay so um, what what is this series that is so fascinating that I have to go and order a buttload of uh, merchandise that belongs to it? Well, let's let's take them out from um, the bubble wrap so I can show you guys what it is. Okay, so they, they came with two bundles of bubble wrap. Alright, so tossing one bubble wrap aside and here we go for the second one. Okay, so... For this particular thing, um, I had to go through two different retailers to get uh, the full set of soundtracks. Um, the other one is in another box because, well, one of the CDs was really, really hard to get. So the series I'm talking about is Dr. Stone. So yeah, so this belongs to the Pelican Fan Club. If you guys have not heard of them, yeah, they are pretty popular nowadays i guess so this is the soundtrack for the uh, song um one of the opening and i can't remember whether it's the opening or ending also oh, this is the opening theme for second second half yeah so this is the opening theme so the, the cd soundtrack is a limited edition version um, that's why it's got this cover it's not the regular print it's got the anime version cover and it comes with a sticker of i guess their original cover i suppose so i i can just file it in there so yeah if you guys want to grab a copy this is still available i think with the bonus um this is from cd japan so yeah it should be available still if you are planning to get it um if you are if you guys are a big fan of dr stone let me know in the comments down below if you have not watched it what are you doing it is one of the best animes of 2019 you definitely need to watch it so the other one is this one it's another dr stone cd um if i'm not wrong this one belongs to second season ending theme so this pelican club did the opening theme then of course 
um, Desyusuke Saiki, Saiki, they pronounce his name, Yus Yusuke Saiki is the one who did the ending theme, so yeah, there you go, he's got his um, picture at the back, then of course the Dr. Stone illustration in the front, pretty fantastic single. Okay, then of course the other one, Good Morning World, um, so a lot of people kind of made this into a meme because apparently the song has Ohio Sekai so whenever people say Ohio to them now if they are fans of Dr. Stone they cannot think about this um, they, they cannot forget about this song because it's in the lyrics <laughs> so yes this is uh, I think this was the first opening song that the, the series had so if you're wondering where is the ending song for the first portion of the CD uh, rather for the series, uh, yeah, it's in the Amazon box. So here we go, we're gonna open this up. Um, this one doesn't have that strip that you can... Oh, I think it does. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, can I... No, I guess I have to use my pen knife to cut it out. Gonna set the goods free! Alright, from the captivity, here we go. Yeah! All right, there we go. So the other CD is inside this one. This was the rarest and hardest to get because apparently it's by a very famous artist. Um, so I went with the animation last limited edition version. So yeah, this this is this is Senku's cover, or if you guys don't know, this is Senku, the main character for the series. Um, so yeah, so apparently there was a bonus that came with this, which included the artist's photo. So because I was late to the hype of ordering the CDs, um, I, I only ordered them after the whole, whole series ended. I should have done when it was first released. <laughs> I mean, I was a big fan since the first episode, but I, I didn't expect myself to go that deep into the series. So. I was late, but okay, I'm, I'm okay with it. I managed to get this limited print and it was the last one on Amazon, so lucky me. <laughs> so yeah, that's the four CDs for the soundtrack of Dr. Stone, the first season. Yes, season two has been guaranteed. And it's coming out in 2020. Look forward to it. I definitely am. I'm going to go read the manga now. Um, because I started off with the anime. I, I'm, I'm not really a big... Um, uh, Shonen Jump fanboy, so I don't really follow Shonen Jump series a lot. Um, but Doctor Stone really caught my attention because it was one of the rare few Shonen Jump series that was really smart, <laughs> and it's not just full of action, action, fighting, action, which is really annoying to see nowadays because um, there's just too much of it, too much of it. I need, I need an anime series that was smart. Alright, so the other thing I got from Amazon that, that was included with this soundtrack, um, it was kind of pointless to just order this in because the shipping itself would be more expensive than the CD itself. So I, I, I had to go and get myself this. I, I needed a Pro Controller <laughs> for my Nintendo Switch. So yes, um, I do have the Joy-Con grips. I mean like um, the one where you can slide the two Joy-Cons in and then just play like a normal Pro Con. Um, that works great as well but when you want to have more people around and you need a proper grip controller just for a single player, I guess some people have bigger hands and they find the joy cons a bit tiny um this is the way to go so this is my first pro controller um definitely looking forward to using this and maybe give a review of it in the future i don't know um because i don't usually go ahead and buy controllers that are not the standard um issued ones that with the that comes with the console um so this is the first of its kind of a purchase for me um like i mean th it's the first of its kind on its own because usually th these are the standard kind of controllers you would normally get for a game console um with, like we've seen for the playstation series the xbox series and of course the other home consoles for the nintendo series so joy the the joy cons were a first of its kind you know for home consoles mobile consoles so that's why to get one of these later on um, would probably not be a norm for most casual gamers um, but I guess you know since considering that I do YouTube content for gaming and all this 
why not get one and of course have fun with the family and friends who come over to play all right so let's move on to the next box um this one is from amazon japan again why is it from amazon japan again well this has got to do with dr stone once again um yes i love the series a lot i cannot mention how great of a series dr stone is and it did not receive as much hype and love that it should have been given during 2019 because kimetsu no yaiba was just flooding the interweb and i do not understand why that series is so famous um, I have not watched it yet, and yes, I'm criticizing the series because I, I don't understand the love level it's getting because it's just another action anime that we have seen countless of times like Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, so on and so forth. Um, the character designs were pretty okay to me. Um, yes, you can flame me in the contents for not loving Kimetsu no Yaiba, but I have my reasons why I'm not watching it yet because it's just overhyped. <laughs> I will eventually watch it, but not while it's still on fire um, because it's just, uh, I don't know, it just, it just puts too much cringe to me that a series is just getting popular because of, um, you know, the, the, the character designs, yes, there's there's this girl with like green orangey hair gradient hair color with boobs flying out from her center uh traditional costume that's supposed to be a i don't know they call it a hunter costume i, I have no idea so <laughs> yes i am criticizing the series without watching it without reading about it um but you know with dr stone being around and it is so well written it's so smart the character designs are unique on its own because it looks a bit more like a um it looks more like a young adults comic design characters um and something that you don't really see a lot in shonen jump while kimetsu no yaiba is a standard shonen jump formula that you've seen for years that's why i i feel like the love is a bit unfair because um people are so used to the formula of um action genre anime while dr stone was an intelligent written story and a lot of research has been put into it you can tell and that's why i i, I that's why i really really do not like how the fandom of kimetsu no yaiba is um churning out because <laughs> there are much better written series um, personally compared to the standard regular formulas of Shonen Jump. So yes, you guys can flame me all you want in the comments or maybe you can even tell me what is what is actually better about Kimetsu no Yaiba compared to Dr. Stone if you have watched both series um, or maybe you can just tell me if you're a big fan of Dr. Stone yourself and I don't know, tell me, tell me whatever you want to tell me about why I should watch Kimetsu no Yaiba. Um, Oh, what are all these advertisement pamphlets? Okay, so interestingly enough, uh, Amazon does send advertisement pamphlets. So, okay, so here we go. We're gonna plug this out. Oh, enough ranting about Kimetsu no Yaiba. All right. So once again, Amazon packing stuff fantastically. Big bundle. So why I had to order this? Because it was a limited release for Dr. Stone. Yes, more Dr. Stone. Yes, I'm loving the series a lot and you should too. <laughs> Go check it out if you have time. Um, so yeah, after the final episode aired, I I couldn't stop myself. I had to go get it. I had to go get the Blu-ray. So yes, this is the Blu-ray collection for Dr. Stone. It's a pretty interesting collection because um, only the limited edition version actually had a box to hold the entire blu-ray collection together so yes i'm gonna toss this aside so yes this is the first volume of dr stone as you can tell that the whole title is there written on the box um and yeah so summary of the um series i guess there are they put that there are four volumes in total so right now there are only three volumes 
um, being released. The fourth volume has yet to come out. So I already got the fourth volume ordered and I'm going to, I guess, I guess if you want to see an unboxing of this, um, do let me know in the comments down below. I probably can do a full Dr. Stone unboxing, including the four singles <laughs> that I've gotten. So it's a full Dr. Stone collection. Um, and yeah, apparently these come with, um, I guess, art books. Um, oh. And they even have a chance for winning tapestries and all this. So it's actually given at the back. Um, information at the back of the Blu-ray. So, pretty interesting. Huh. Oh, I thought, I thought the tapestry was... Oh! Oh! Okay, so that... The, the limited Blu-ray actually came with tapestries, but you have to use the serial code to go and claim it. So you have to go online to claim it. Oh, that's 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 not a good thing. Uh, so I guess you need a Japanese address to go and claim the tapestries. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll figure out a way to um, get it done. <laughs> So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a Dr. Stone unboxing. Um, yeah. Okay, so moving on to the second last package. This one is from Ami Ami. Yes, every month I have will, I will have a box from Ami Ami. Uh, it's, it's like the standard cheapest place you can get your wheat otaku stuff from, um, you know. So if you're an international shopper, there is. I mean, if you're if you're shopping from Japan, of course there are cheaper retailers. Um, so yeah, let's pick up the stuffing. So this one, this one is a bit unique because I'm going back to my roots of my YouTube channel. So this will happen as an unboxing. Uh, woo! Wow. Okay, I did not expect to be given so many of these. <laughs> Okay, so what am I talking about? Basically, um, if you guys know my channel from way back, I did unboxing for Pokemon card games. So this is the Japanese Pokemon TCG OCG, actually, original card game. Um, so these are the new packs for the Pokemon Sword and Shield booster packs. Um, I actually went back into it because I really wanted the um, full art money card or rather they call it the um, Hyper Rare HC Hyper Collection I don't know I don't know what the rarities are now anymore for Pokemon card games ever since I stopped opening them back in black and white editions and uh, I think Sun and Moon I barely touched Sun and Moon so so yeah so back to Sword and Shield um, I will be doing unboxings for these booster packs. So apparently each box came with one of this um, foldable cardboard boxes. So um, so each box I got one, so I've got four. <laughs> I guess I can give them, I can give three away, I guess, <laughs> to friends. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys want me to do a giveaway to these boxes, um, to you guys, let me know in the comments as well. Um, and one other thing that came with all the Pokemon boxes is uh, probably a game that I think a lot of people will probably know about it by now. If you guys have been watching YouTube, um, so I got the uh, Japanese release of the Overcooked 1 and Overcooked 2 game. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to sell off my Overcooked 1 game. Uh, single copy because now I have both games on one cartridge. Who knows? Maybe I'll just give away the first game somewhere uh, So yeah, and okay, so let me just move the boxes away. It's getting really cramped here Okay, and we are moving to the Moving to the last box uh, This one belongs to CD Japan if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's CD Japan and this one is a bit special because it has something that I have not shown on my channel so far 
um, which is something that I'm starting to get into to collecting. Um, so yeah, let me just rip out the important information and cut open the box. Hopefully the box, or rather hopefully the item is not damaged because the box got squished. I don't know whether you guys can see it. The box got squished. <laughs> it's it's really bent up. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm a bit worried because the, the special item inside there is fragile. Um, the box even had the fragile sticker but the, the the people who shipped this over didn't really take care of the item. Okay, so I'm a bit worried. Alright, let's slice this up. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully the thing is not damaged. Alright. Stuffings aside. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's good. The item is kind of placed in the center of the box. So that's pretty fantastic. So I'm going to pull out the stuff first. Um, and we're going to move the box away. Okay. So let's talk about the smaller items first. And what they are. I like, I like how CD Japan wraps their stuff. Because uh, it's all in bubble wrap. Even though it's uh, not so important items like this so it's the latest volume of uh Wotakoi. you guys know i'm big fans of this series those who are closer friends for me so this is the latest volume um it has been around for almost a month so yes these items are considered old releases already but gotta love this and it's the volume where they finally talk about um yeah the tomboyish girl and the boy the bro brother uh, so yeah so this is this is really really nice lovely stuff if you guys are not uh if you guys have not touched the series or the anime or the manga i highly recommend you to go and um pick this up and of course there's the live action movie that's gonna happen as well in in, in you know february 7 february so i'm looking forward to that as well lovely lovely comic series about otakus and how they um react and you know their office life their regular life and of course their love life um you know like she's an otaku he's not an otaku but the brother is an otaku so but eventually he's gonna get influenced into it i guess <laughs> so yeah all right the, the other thing that i have here belongs to kind of kind of like a macross item i guess kinda um it's toyama now's second life so um or rather toyama now's first tour um life infinity so yeah i probably might be live streaming that sometime soon and of course it comes with a lovely photo because new wing new wing gets the photo while um some other companies get tapestries which is really unfair because <laughs> i want the tapestry of this you know hanging on my wall somewhere <laughs> but photos are nice too so yes i'm looking forward to you know watching this soon hopefully with some of you guys as well under the macross space time the culture group um so yeah very very lovely stuff if you guys haven't gotten it um what are you holding back for i mean if you guys are toyama now fans or reina prowler fans you definitely want to have this in your collection so yeah moving along all right, I have another comic book. So it's the Moto uh, Takagi San Moto series, which is the basically the um, Takagi San and um, uh, na what's the husband's name again? Nishikata, <laughs> Nishikata, uh, being married, and then of course they have their daughter Chie. Um, sorry, not Chie, Chi. So so it's about them growing up, and of course, and their adult life with their daughter and of course now that the daughter is the one that gets get, getting bullied <laughs> and of course eventually the daughter will have her own series as well because she, within within this series itself there are some chapters or rather there are some small chapters where the daughter is grown up and then she's in the classroom just like how the parents met um, but she's still being the one bullied um, you know replacing the father's position um, and of course the one that 
kind of likes her is um, you know the boy that is looking like the father but uh, is now the one teasing the daughter <laughs> so okay um, if you want to check out the series for yourself um, go check out the original anime for Takahi-san season 1 season 2 sadly to say the Moto series has yet to receive its anime adaption, adaptation although it has been announced that this is getting an anime adaptation so I guess they're waiting to finish up the regular Takagi-san series first before releasing the Moto series so looking looking forward to that and hopefully maybe the artist uh, ninja series is going to get an anime adaptation as well who knows <laughs> he, he's getting a lot of popularity right now so here is the big item that i really really want to show you guys what i've been starting to collect since last year when i went to japan um i've been wanting to get myself a player to, to play all this as well um but you know it's my room is kind of like a piling up warehouse right now <laughs> so it's pretty hard to pack up my stuff to find space to throw a player in here so yeah okay so hopefully all that has hinted to you what i've been buying collecting so this is the vinyl record for tanky no Ko by red whims it's a vinyl collection so if you guys want to see an unboxing of this I will do so with the other Red Wimps um, limited edition bundle that I got in the last unboxing video as well. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments down below. So yes, very lovely vinyl collection. Yes, I will show off my vinyl collection series that I've started collecting since the middle of last year, um, which include Mame Goose and uh, um, Yoshiki. Uh, Yoshiki as well, Fukuyama Yoshiki, so Basara's um, artist singing voice and of course I've got some other vinyl records from Kingdom Hearts as well um, so yeah, so if you guys want to see all those let me know in the comments down below and that's pretty much it for the month of December so yeah guys, what do you guys think of all the items I've shown so far the Pokemon card games, um, the mangas, the singles for Dr. Stone, the Blu-rays for Dr. Stone and of course yes my controversial topic about Kimetsu no Yaiba let me know in the comments down below what you guys have in your minds and of course leave a like to this video if you, if you love all the stuff that I've shown you guys and of course leave a thumbs down if you yes if you hate me for um, chewing out on Kimetsu no Yaiba the, the, the dislike button is there for it I know I know definitely this time around this video is gonna get flagged by a lot of dislikes <laughs> but you know i have i have my my own opinions for the show as well so yes guys uh that's pretty much it for december hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh and of course enjoy chewing me out later on <laughs> subscribe to the channel for more content just like this and of course if you guys want to see the pokemon cards being um unpacked unboxed um and see what kind of pools i get and of course if you guys want to see more personal unboxings of these items let me know as well and make sure you subscribe ring the bell notification icon for more updates and i'll see you guys in the next month's unboxing video until then bye